I have two reports opened here in report view, my sales and profit report and inventory. And a sub-report is inserting one report into another. For example, I want to take my inventory report here and insert it or append it at the end of my sales and profit report. And typically, sub-reports are added at the end of the main reports. And in this case, it's my sales and profits. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and change views on my sales and profit report. Right click and go to the design view. And like I said, most uh, sub-reports are appended at the end of the report, or in this case, the report footer section. Scroll down here, and to insert my sub-report. Now, a sub-report can be linked to the main report using a link field. However, I'm going to go ahead and just insert my report and append it to the end, in which case I don't need to have them linked. They can be unbound. So I'll come up here to the Design tab to the Controls group and then click on the Subform Subreport button because if we were creating subforms then we'd click the same button but it's Reports so I'll click on it once, come down here, you can see my pointer's turned into a plus sign. I want to come to the far left as I can because when I click on it the report is going to be stretching across the bottom here horizontally. So I'm going to come over here, click as close as I can to the vertical ruler opens up the wizard where it's going to ask me some questions. I give it some answers and based upon those answers, in this case, it's going to insert my sub report, which is going to be inventory. So it says, what data would you like to use for your sub form or sub report? Well, the moment I selected inventory, it's a report. It chose the option use an existing report or form. Click next. Then it says, would you like to define which fields link your main form to the sub form yourself or choose from the list below? Now they're talking about forms here and it's just going to be a report. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and just say none. Click next. Give it a name. Now it has the prefix RPT for report, but actually I'm going to delete those three letters and type in R sub for report sub and then click finish. Then take it for a test drive and see what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and right click on the tab, go down to print preview. Going to go to the end of my report here by clicking on the last page button down below. And you can see how it's cut off. So what that tells me is that in my design view, when I right click to the design view and I scroll down, that my report is stretching just a little bit beyond the page here. And so it's breaking about, about right there. So if I can just hover over the border of my sub report until I get a two way arrow, then I can click and drag and either stretch it in horizontally or up vertically but I'll keep it about the same size maybe just up a little bit pull it in here let go then come over to the right side of my grid until I get a two-way arrow pointing in opposite directions and then click and drag that so I can pull my grid in as tight as I can and the reason why it may not be pulling in tighter is because I may have other objects like for example up at the top I have the date and time that are right there if I move those over then I can pull it in even tighter but I'm good with it right now go ahead and test it by right clicking the tab going to the print preview down in the uh, down on the page navigation bar, click on the last page button, and there we go. The last page is my inventory page. So all I have to do is just print once, and it prints off both my reports, my sub report, of course, and then when I hit the back arrow on the earlier pages, I have my main report records here. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.